Thank you for the introduction. And hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sumaya, and I will talk about evergreen skills for software developers. I actually came up with this talk because uh, as a lead software developer, I work with a lot of different type of developers every day. Uh, we have like senior developers, junior developers, uh, developers that work with different programming languages. And I've noticed that something that I was, I, I thought that was like basic to know for a software engineer wasn't that basic because sometimes they didn't know about it or they're not like messing it like I was expecting to. So I want to like make a little list because like there are so many evergreen skills that we can talk about, but I want to make like five for today that I think that are really important to uh, make like a, let's say, valuable uh, software engineer. So about myself, I am a lead software developer at Scaling Parrots. That is a little company in the north of Italy. And we do, um, we are specialized in blockchain development. I'm a front-end specialist and I work with Web3 every day, so I became uh, a little bit enthusiastic about Web3 and I talk about it uh, so much. And I love technology uh, and I'm really passionate about electronics too, so I talk about everything that it's uh, technology. And this is like my stack, my actual stack that I love to talk about, so if you want to talk about with me about these things, I'm always open to that. So evergreen, evergreen skills are for me like skills that are not related to any like programming language or like a framework or stuff. So are skills that uh, you can not like learn about it like Googling it or like uh, reading a book, but you learn about them um, in particular with experience and you uh, can like master them using them every day. Um, and also evergreen are, uh, I think, something that are, are not uh, outdated with time. So once you learn it, it's, you can just use them every time. So I want to start easy with problem solving because like as developers we are all problem solvers. So uh, we solve every kind of pro problems, maybe not just in our work but in our daily basis uh, life. So we solve problems in different like kind of uh, things uh, we can uh, solve like in good ways or bad ways. I think that this little girl will be a great software developer when she grow up. <laughs> um, but first of all, we think when we think about problem solving, we think about like code. So we have like in this case a problem that is find a way to sum. Uh, even numbers in a given range and we just think about creating a function that will do this job for us but yeah this is problem solvers uh, solving but um, I actually didn't write this code because I just asked ChatGPT to do it for me and uh, for so many uh, coding problems we can find solution online and we do it every day um, but there are like other uh, problem solving problems that um, are not like 100% technical, but it's like a mindset uh, for me. And it will help us like to solve problem um, also like 
in our environment uh, work uh, day. Um, first of all, like optimization, uh, the, per the performance of a web application, for example, or a team communication. Um, it's important to uh, know how to uh, communicate with our other team members uh, and avoid uh, misunderstanding. Uh, project scope creep, there, uh, this happens too much in, in our company in particular, uh, that's like clients change the uh, scope of the project, like during like the development. And this is a like big problem that we uh, need to uh, know how to face it and how we can like uh, find a way to not throw out everything we already do and we can how we can like reuse it to uh, the final scope. Uh, integration challenges. There are so many cross team integration challenges, uh, time management with other teams like backend and frontend, how uh, to communicate with them and to don't have conflicts. Uh, tec technical debt management, like um, if we don't like uh, review our code, often uh, we uh, like get a lot of difficulty in like maintaining it. And this is a big problem that we have to know how to um, solve it. Another scale, uh, these are two scales that I made them together because I think that they work uh, really good together. Uh, debugging and testing. Debugging, uh, we've listened about, uh, about it in Nick's talk uh, earlier, so I, I will not like dive into it. Uh, but testing, uh, personally, I think that is like the worst thing that we do in our job. I don't know about you, but I hate it. And um, there are so many companies that don't do testing. And yeah, maybe you cannot uh, do it and you can trust your code, but you like may have some issues. So what is testing? Testing is like about writing code to test your code. And yeah, this is for many uh, developers is like a waste of time because they are like proud of, uh, what, they, of the, what they write. So yeah, but it's helpful because you can like test your uh, code to uh, like find out if there is any vulnerabilities or uh, if there is something that it's not working. So it's all about finding uh, the bugs and not just because we know that is not working, but uh, we want to prevent uh, our test to not work, maybe in production. Um, and debugging in the other end is like, you know that your code is not working and you like look in it and try to find the errors. So I have a little uh, example for testing. This is like a function that calculates the factorial of uh, an integer. And this also, I didn't write it. ChatGPT does it for me. So I don't know if it works. So to test it, I wrote, uh, written this code that ha has some test cases. So if I pass zero to uh, the function that ChatGPT wrote for me, I expect to get one. And all, uh, these are all the cases. If I pass one, I expect one. If I pass five, I expect uh, 120 and so on. So when I, I um, run the code, it's, it means like 
I will loop into these test cases and I will like use the uh, factorial function and if I get the, the result, if uh, the result that I get is the same as the expected one, uh, the test passed, so the function is right. If it's not the same, so it's failed and I need to debug this function and look what's wrong with it. So yeah, in this case, just do it like a function. Uh, so it's easier also to understand what we are doing here, but there are so many like um, test uh, uh, um, libraries and stuff that do uh, a better, like more professional way to test our code. So this help us, uh, this help how to uh, identify and fix all the issues of our code to improve the software quality, to prevent risks and save a lot of time because even if we spend time to write this test, uh, we prevent uh, of uh, like uh, getting more time lost uh, if we get a, a, a bug ev uh, evidence in production, let's say. And then it has like collaboration from team because it's help us uh, also other uh, team members. Another skills that for me it's really, really important and I find out that so many developers don't master like Git and even if they are like senior developers or they say that they are senior developers. Um, uh, software versioning, so I think that is so important because you are not going to lose what you worked on it and also not like that, not just like that, but uh, it's also like a screenshot of the changes that you made in your code. So it's like also like an history of the project and you can like go uh, through the comments and see what, uh, w which improvement did you do um, and also if you can like check if your teammates are working or not. <laughs> um, the important things um, are like branching, first of all, uh, that allows developer to work on the same project without like uh, breaking the code uh, or uh, like um, developing on an outdated uh, like version of, th of the code and in this way we can like parallel programming <coughs> and it's easier to work in groups. Um, merging, we can like once we are done with our feature, our uh, like uh, coding stuff, we can merge our branches into the main um, in the main uh, code and then uh, we can like do it carefully to not like uh, have conflicts and stuff but this is helpful because we can like 10 people can work on the same code and like don't break everything. Uh, tagging it's so important because like it's adding a label to every specific com not commit but like feature or bug fixing or major like uh, um, advanced um, feature that we do to the code and this like is a reference to what um, specific version of the code we want uh, to go on. Um, how we um, write tags, there are like three numbers with dot on it, uh, between them. Uh, we have major, minor and patch. What does it mean? Let's start from like the right one, the patch, that is uh, for bug fixes. So if we like in our like release, um, we are fixing a bug, we will increase 
like the patch number. Uh, the minor is the middle one. It will be incremented if we uh, add a new feature. So we are not like fixing anything that is not working. And, but we are adding a functionality or adding anything that is not like a, a, like a big um, like, uh, release to our code. And the major one uh, is so important because it means that if it's increased, it means that we made a big like, change to our uh, code base. Then we have refactoring. Refactoring is like tidying, tidying uh, our code and uh, like making it more organized and like more professional, let's say. Um, so we improve like quality of the code. We uh, like help uh, help maintain the code by reducing like the risk of uh, error and bugs and it's like simplifying what we write like um, sometimes we just write what we are thinking without like organizing it so much so it's important to refactor uh, every while to make your code less let's say uh, messy uh, it's not like just about like uh, clean code but it's more like making it organized and also like use something that will not be like just um, like force or like if else or something like that. This code, it's like too long. There are so many force, so many if, and it's a little bit like also the variables doesn't tell anything. Uh, this is the same version of the code but a little bit like organized. The uh, name of the function are more like descriptive. Uh, we are using some array uh, methods that are more like uh, beautiful to see. Um, we are using some math, uh, uh, math functions, uh, math library functions and like uh, the for each instead of the uh, for loop, I think that it's more uh, pretty. Uh, this help out like to extract methods. Um, extract methods will be like uh, a good technique to improve your code, uh, rename variables and functions, uh, remove code smells. So uh, if there is something that we can eliminate it or like um, duplicated code or like complex logic that can be like um, resumed. Uh, simplify condition expressions. Uh, we can like uh, avoid if else if we can. Extract class, something more like tidy, let's say. And then I want to like finish with clan code because like yeah, it's not just about like cleaning and sometimes if you don't do it like often, it's like just like that. If even with much effort, you cannot like do anything about your code anymore. So it's helpful to uh, like ensure that your teammates will not hate you because they can't understand anything you are doing or even yourself in like three or uh, six months when you are looking back to your code, it will be like, oh, what, what I've, I've written. And so it's also more like uh, easy to read, easy to maintain and like easier to, to avoid errors and risk. This is an example of messy code. This is a function that actually works, but like you need to uh, read actually every line of the code to understand what it's doing. Because like the function name doesn't tell anything, the variables doesn't tell 
anything. So it's just random code, let's say. Um, and I think that even if we add like comments that tell us what this function is for, it's like more like mess to mess because clean code is not about like do so much descriptive comments that will like help you to understand what it's written, but it's like making more like less clean code even more. So clean code is about like <coughs> read, write a good um, name for function and uh, variables that are just descriptive enough to avoid comments themselves. So this is actually a function that calculates the sum of uh, uh, an array of numbers. And we just uh, have the total of these numbers and we can log them in a nice way. And this is really helpful. So it's a clean code. It ensures readability. So it's easier to read. It reduces bugs because we know we, what we are looking to. Uh, it's easy to maintain. It's easy to reuse parts of the code because like, we can reuse them if they are written uh, good. Scalability, we can improve or add other functionalities without uh, like have complex, um, complex code to manage. And it's faster to debug our code because we can uh, like look at it in a well-organized uh, way. And yeah, those are for me personally, uh, the like most important skills that every uh, software developer needs to have to be like a valuable software engineer. So yeah, if this is like a message for me, uh, if you have time and you find out that you're not mastering one of these, um, take time to like think about it and learn about it a little more because I think that these are really, really helpful on our daily basis job. So here are like my social, you can find me everywhere pretty much. Uh, if you want to reach out to ask me about anything or about the slides, also I will like post them um, on my socials and yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much.